Okay, so today I have a tutorial, but first I have to announce the box logo winner. I wanted to do this a while ago, but if you follow me anywhere, you know I just released my new like drop collection, whatever, and the support was super overwhelming and it just kind of set me back on making this video, I guess. But if anything, it just gave people more time to enter. I wasn't really sure how I was going to announce the winner because it got like 16,000 comments, but I think I have a good way is I'm going to go on a random number generator. I'm going to generate a number, and that's how many times I'm going to scroll up to the top and load the comments. And whatever comment lands on the top, like no matter what it is, that's who wins. I'll send you a DM. Some people entered like a ton, like a ridiculous amount. So shout out to them. Okay, I'm just going to go on to random number generator. I'm going to change the maximum to a thousand and see what number I get. Okay, I'm super lucky. It's only 19, so really, this isn't going to be hard to do at all. The comment that lands on the last load, that's who wins. So yeah, I guess I'd use this opportunity to say, if you want to, check out the lookbook of the stuff I just released. But anyways, so I'm going to load 19 times, so... Okay, so this is the last load. Whatever comment is right here, that's the winner. So here we go. So it was actually this kid who's been commenting a lot. So I guess that kind of means he deserves it. Kind of a spammer. But it's this man's right here. Simon. I actually follow him, which is weird because I, I don't necessarily know who this is. You won. Shout out to you. I'll send you a DM. Congrats. So anyways, congratulations to Simon. But this is actually a video, so this is a tutorial on how to make like a Vetmont style hoodie. Someone suggested me this and I made a pair of Levi's that were kind of like this already. So it made sense to do it. If you don't know, the Vetmont hoodie kind of is like a reconstructed look that has seams all over it. It's really popular. I think it's called like their college hoodie. I think it looks dope, but the retail is like 1400 sold out, whatever. And it's really not that hard to make. I wanted to make it on a reverse weave champion hoodie, but I wanted kind of like a vintage one. So I went on eBay and I found a vintage champion reverse weave hoodie. I believe it was like $30 and I kind of had, it had this graphic on it I thought it looked good. It's actually funny, someone tweeted me and this is the school they go to, so shout out to them. I'm not really sure what school this is, but I thought the yellow looked good on gray. So you get that. I got a size XL because I want it to be wider because you're going to be taking some fabric off of it. So keep that in mind when you buy it. Basically what you want to do is when you get it, you're going to want to take off the front pocket. If you notice on the Vetmont hoodie, the hem is misaligned and you need to take off the pocket for this part of the tutorial. But after you do that, basically what you're going to do is cut up the front on two sides, about a foot, and you're going to want to pinch this fabric and take it in. Basically what you're doing is you're taking in some fabric and the fabric you're taking in is going to be under the pocket. So you're not going to be able to see the seam but this is gonna make the hems misaligned. Okay, so after you do that, as you can see, you need two seams of the full front. Along the lines that you've already cut, you're gonna to wanna to pinch the hoodie all the way up to the neck. And I put pins in it so it'll be a straight fold. But basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be sewing what you just cut back together along with the fold all the way up. So on the outside, there's a seam all the way up the hoodie. Um, so after you pin it, sew the cut part back together and then continue the seam all the way up the hoodie and then when you look on the front, as you can see, you'll have a seam all the way up it. Do this on both sides. And so then you got the reconstructed hem and you got the two seams. After this, you can sew back on the pocket. Just sew it basically where it was. You might want to pin it down to make sure it's all lined up right. And then there's two other things you can do to it. The first thing is the outside sleeves have seams on them. So that's basically super simple. All you do is you just do a stitch all the way up the top of the sleeve. You're basically just pinching in a little fabric and it's going to create a seam. You can also pin this, but it's not that hard, you just gotta make it completely adjacent to the inside seam. And the last thing the Vetmont hoodie has, it has a back seam. And I'm not the biggest back seam fan, so I decided to leave that out because they've been done by the Jerry Boys, by everyone. Everyone got the back seam, so I was like, you know what, we ain't doing a back seam. So yeah, that's the little tutorial. Shout out to the giveaway winner. Thank you to everyone who supported the new drop. More videos coming, I bought a ton of stuff recently that I have yet to put in the video, so I appreciate all of you. I love all of you. Peace out, you guys. Take care. Sweat. Ooh, Molly made me sweat. Yeah, bitch, I'm a star, but I'm still dead.